What up folks, I'm Ultrazel and today I have a review of the Transformers the movie Transformers Studio Series. I don't know why I always say it like that, but I just do. It is no. That's alright, my Azillion the Shocktacon no, is here. And uh this is a reissue. That's right. This was a first released in 2021 I want to say it is Studio Series 86 number 8 uh, but this is a brand new box brand new release for 2024 brand new reissue for 2024 I should say um, and I never got the original one because I actually don't think I ever saw it in store and it was one of those where I was just like if I saw it I would have gotten it but I didn't so I never ordered it uh, and all of that uh, but I, I, I saw it in store with a lot of the other new releases from studio series like uh, Concept Sunstreaker and a gamer sideswipe I, I passed on both of them I'll be honest with you but this guy I was just like nope I'm not passing on this one uh, you know this time out um, I, I just I don't know I really just needed to have it as soon as I saw it I was like needed to have it. always liked the Shark Cons. I'm really surprised I didn't just order the original one, but it is what it is. He's here now, so without any further ado, let's get to the review. And as always, with Studio Series, you do get the backdrop. It's just garbage to me, but, you know, I, they can perform as little stands uh, for your figures, little dioramas. So if you're into it, that's what you get with every Studio Series figure. And this one's pretty cool. The art on them is really nice usually. But we're not here for that. We're here for this little chunk of Monka figure. He is fantastic. Really fantastic. Uh, I really, really like this. Uh, at least so far in this mode. I haven't transformed it yet. Um, but th this is this is pretty awesome. I, I, I love it. He's so 80s. He's rocking the 80s colors. The purples and like the little booties. I don't know. It's kind of like he's small. He's squat. He reminds me of my little sister <laughs> in the 80s. I don't know why. Uh, just the outfit, like the leggings and the little booties. It, it's 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 ridiculous. Um, but I, I, I just really like it. I really do. I wish these were this color. I wish they made it that color. Even if it's not accurate, it would have been nicer. Uh, you know, of course, you could just do that and just get rid of them, uh, the heel spurs. But, you know, if you have them, might as well use them and help that balance. Uh, but the legs are really good. I love the purple. This is a nice purple. Uh, and I love uh, this blue. It's kind of like, uh, like periwinkle-esque. Uh, very nice. You do get diecast content, as always, with Transformers, and I absolutely love that. Um, it's true, though. I mean, I'd rather have the pins in metal here than anything else. I love it. I do. Uh, but really nice-looking legs. No paint. But, you know, there's a lot of nice molded detail. Uh, a little bit of hollowness right back there, but that's fine, in my opinion. Uh, going up the back here, you have this shell of the back, a little shark shell, sort of a shark shell, the fin, which I like there, that looks pretty cool, the little arms and stuff, and that, we're gonna look at all this a little more after, um, the chest, you have a little gold belt buckle, and I like that, I think that's really cool, it's the only paint here, um, but I do like this, this white-ish, like eggshell, light gray, whatever the heck it is, beautiful detail on there, very, very nicely done. If you lift that up, you just get a little more. Uh, but then you have the uh, bottom of the shark mouth here. And that looks really good. You do have reds and uh, golds again there. The teeth in silver, which are nice. You got these side things here in a nice blue. The arms. Then you got a different kind of... It's like a gray, purplish gray. Really nice detail. I really like it. I like the, his little bracelet, which is feet. Uh, the hands look pretty good. As you can see, he's got a little uh, whip, whip tail thing. Whip or mace. It's cool. You know, it doesn't move or anything, but it's got little spikes on him. 
I like the detail. I like the detail a lot, actually. Oh, it does move. It does move, guys. My bad. I didn't notice that before. But it does move. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Sweet. Really, really dig that. On the other arm, as you can see, he's got a nice big rifle done in that same purple-ish gray color. Very cool looking. Very nicely done. Does have a little thingy there. I'm guessing we could store it somewhere. Maybe on the side there. Let's find out. Together. Is it on both sides? Because it would make more sense. No, it's just on this side. So I don't know if that's going to work out. Um, too well. It goes there. Because uh, he shoots it there. But like, I mean, you can store it there if you want. You could also take out the fin. And then he's got a little, little fin knife. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, he's, he's got he's got little things he can use. I dig it. Uh, and then his head sculpt is rather nice. Uh, I really do like this one. The eyes are in that gold again. They're really set in there though. You really have to gonna look in there. It might be yellow, just yellow, but I think they're the same color as this, but I could be wrong. Nah, I think they're just like a lime yellow. This so far in there. That's crazy. The rest of the face looks pretty good, though. I do dig that. Helmet is pretty nice. The red there. Little uh, dorsal fin type things on his head uh, is all pretty good. And I like all the detail within this mouth here. Very, very, very cool. So excellent, excellent stuff there. It's a really good looking figure. As you can see, again, he's pretty squat looking. Very funny body shape, but I, I just love it. He's like a little Oompa Loompa. He's fantastic. Uh, for articulation, the head does move in here. It's a little tough to get there, but he does move. So I don't know. No waist articulation on this guy, as you can probably tell. He's like a Ninja Turtle, you know, hinge, swivel. At the shoulder, swivel at the bicep, single jointed elbow. The wrists do not swivel on this guy at all. Uh, then the legs, uh, I'm gonna be able to get that much. Kicks forward, goes back. Then you have the uh, thigh swivel. You have the single jointed knee, but you then have a ankle that moves like so, which is good. And then you got that as well. So uh, pretty pretty interesting it's more like a little boot cut <laughs> that moves forward but you got it so you know it's not a ton of articulation but it's not the worst either i don't mind it i think it's cool and overall it is pretty pretty awesome in this mode and for your size comparison in robot mode here is Gnaw with a bunch of other transformers you might have in your collection so with all that done, there's only one thing left to do, and that's transform and swim out. Sharkticon, all uh, no, all uh, transformed, and uh, there was one thing that really confused me as I did it, uh, and that was this part, like flipping upwards with the arms that turn into the feet. Um, it wasn't like going for me at first, so I had to go back and like really study the directions. I couldn't figure it out, and I can't get this to stay tabbed right there, right in the middle there. Um, maybe something else is not tabbed. That always seems to be the case. Something else not tabbed, and then the last final thing doesn't want to get tabbed in correctly. I don't know. Uh, it's not the biggest of deals, but I think this looks great. Uh, we do have the gun that got mounted on his back again for some weaponry. I, I don't mind that, you know? Uh, I think that's kind of cool. 
um, to make it go back like this. You got the tail again, which is pretty awesome. So that moves and that swivels. And then the legs retains all the same motions as the arms. But then you got these other little arms that have a couple of joints, which is cool. So that's, there's that. And then of course you can open up the big shark mouth, whatever it is. <laughs> Land shark. Um, crazy robot. Planetoid thing. Uh, planetoid? From a different planet. I don't know what I meant. <laughs> But I like it. It looks cool. I love his eyes. It's like that same greenish gold. We got the red up there. Looks awesome. Gray paint up here. The purple paint. It's beautiful. The inside of the mouth ends up looking really cool. You know, uh, you got this like inner row of uh, teeth on like his tongue. I think that's awesome. And then you got the little beardy things on the sides. I like the little arms. I do. I think they're really, really nice looking, actually. Nice mold of detail. You got, again, the uh, diecast content. I think all this folds up really well. The feet just become part of the design. The bottom looks pretty good. Everything looks pretty good. I, 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 I dig this guy. I'm glad I was finally able to get this. I actually did not know at the uh, time of purchase that this was getting a re-release. And uh, that was cool. To have gotten it because it then got officially announced after I picked mine up at Target. So uh, that's uh, honestly pretty awesome. Uh, and it is awesome. I always love this design. And uh, glad to have an actual transformer of it. Because um, somewhere I have a reaction figure. I think it's up in my apartment by my computer. But um it's good to have an actual transformer of it because I definitely did not have the original. Um, this this is fantastic. And for your size comparison in this mode here is Gnaw with Optimus Prime and Cheetor. And while I don't have the previous version of uh, Gnaw to compare, if there was anything uh, to this 2024 reissue, nor do I have the G1, I do have the reaction figure, which honestly I do think is a pretty perfect... A uh, depiction of uh, what the uh, Shark Cons looked like on screen in the movie. Definitely more so than this. I mean, you know, this is a good way to uh, just kind of judge this a little bit. Um, and I know this is like a figure, like a more action figure type thing. But uh, the way the arms kind of extend outwards is a lot more accurate and I wish this did that like I wish they made it so the arms came out more I think it would have been cooler um and it they do have these big circular things at the shoulders which this has but it's all the way inside so yeah and the bigger eyes uh would have been would have been awesome everything else is fine I do like uh the more detailed version uh that they made here but you know this is pretty, pretty classic. <laughs> Still, I like them both. And my final thoughts, I really like this. Uh, this is very, very fun. I, I think both modes look really fantastic, but uh, this crazy, weird land shark thing is where it's at for me. This is how it's staying. Uh, I just think it's so cool. I don't know, man. Just always loved this design and... Uh, it's really great to have this. It really, really is. I'm, I was like taken back when I saw it. I didn't realize it was coming out again um, in the new packaging. So a really, really cool reissue. Definitely one worth getting if you missed out the first time. Or even if you got it the first time, get, get more, right? There's a lot of these guys. Um, so this is very awesome. And uh, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content and let me help you diversify your collection with some Transformers sometimes. Till next time, peace out, peeps.